girl, that's fine There's something there right There's something there right I can see it in your eyes Right, you're fast in your life Good evening, beautiful people of the universe, and welcome back to my magical world. <laughs> okay, so, hi guys. Uh, yep, uh, we're going to discuss it again. So, as as you know, if you don't know yet, today is a big day, and tomorrow again, I still have things to finish. But, you know, overall, I'm just so happy to be here with you again, and I missed you. You know when you're like super busy with something and your mind is kind of like in there <laughs> so it's i think uh it's lovely to be not not to, to be back but to have like this conversation again with you guys so um okay currently it's 8 36 in the evening and today is april 3rd uh, of 2022 if you are having like if you are if your birthday is uh this month happy birthday to you and may have like a wonderful life ahead of you so i'm just really grateful that uh you guys are with me and um guys subscribe okay i'm sorry that was for the ending but let's proceed with our topic again so we're going to discuss about being a conscious partner so what it's like to be a conscious partner do you have a conscious partner? I mean, you can ask that with yourself if you have one. So, is your partner just a partner? Or is your partner actually is really there for you? Do you really have that kind of conscious partner that we all need and want to have in this life? So, let's see what it's like to have a conscious partner. It's lovely. It's lucky if you have one. So, for me... um. My partner is myself <laughs> okay so yeah so seeing your partner wounded inner child and learning how to love them better so again we all have like that kind of traumas that we have been through and many say it says that you can heal from it but no no it's not actually like that you are born the trauma is always just there so if someone kind of like have um kind of like love them if you have that partner who whom you can be vulnerable with and just like adore every part of you the good the bad and the ugly that was like it's always uh and it is always like an amazing feeling okay so, if you have that kind of partner, you can, of course, cherish cherish them, nurture them, love them carefully, with proper care, okay? Handle them with the love. Okay, next is getting curious rather than defensive. So, um, I don't know how to actually explain it, but wait lang getting curious to to be in have to be in to be in a conversation where uh there's a substance that you can be openly be who you are what you are and not defensive so not based on fear so you can actually be 100% uh just be you yourself and be openly you know that kind of open communication because that it's a partner thing right so everyone everything should be done openly hmm? especially if you are already in a long-term relationship so it's you have to be in a state where you don't you no longer hide things that are sensitive next is listening with your heart not with your head you all have that kind of logical minds 
and sometimes we have to disregard it when you are guy when you guys are in love okay when we're in love of course we have to kind of like not think straight no you know because the love is there and when there's love there's understanding right so um yeah it's not always sometimes it's not even logical right then you have when you are doing things that are beyond you know what a human being are capable of doing right so you are one hell of a lucky man or women if someone um love you in a you know very unique way so next is letting go of the need to be right so again you know you know what they say right when you guys are already in partner or like in a married life in a yeah so the women is always right <laughs> so <laughs> you just kind of like agree with uh, almost everything because that's just how it is i mean you we guys have has a saying right like a happy wife is a happy life so you know that that's just how it is i think it's lovely that uh it's a thing it's a thing of the present so um amazing next is replacing criticism uh with praise so we all do make mistakes a lot of mistakes sometimes so there are already a lot of critics in the world and you have if and if you have if you are like um sorry for that let's go back um so if you are like having again we ha we are experiencing a lot of criticism already in this world so when it comes with your partner learn to uh alter it with praise instead of so much criticism i mean criticism is good but do not overdo it <laughs> just in moderation guys enough to challenge your partner to become better not to degrade them so you can always praise them okay so it's it's cool if it's like that so next is learning i mean next is seeing conflict as a gateway to connection and growth so um when you have like that kind of a huge huge fight with your partner so after a crazy thing that you you know you overcome it so there's growth there and make sure to turn that kind of experience into something you know both of you can have both of you will understand each other better so um yeah for better connection next time something like that guys i know you get my point you guys are in a relationship and i'm not <laughs> okay so uh yeah next is uh, learning to hold space with empathy so i know that only few of us have that kind of trait being empathic so um and it is usually uh the feminine who have that kind of uh trait so you can actually have that so, so that you would be less judgmental and less be critical on things that surrounds you and you in a way you understand people better so especially if it's your partner guys you have to really be empathic you have to understand them in a level that in a level where they can where they will feel um safe with you diba because you you guys have like when you're in a relationship diba you guys have um secrets that probably both of you only know so being empathic actually is good so yeah next is learning 
I mean, next is prioritizing fun, play and laughter, being their friend, not their opponent or mom or dad. So, it's lovely if, you know, your partner is not just your lover. It's amazing if it can be your friend, the best friend, one who really is actually there. Like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But you already know that. So, yeah. Make sure to have fun. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> so, because a lot of people forget that already when they're, like, in a marriage. Maybe because of the children, they lack time for each other. So, make sure to find time to, um, to nurture your, you know, the childlike, the, you know, the person you are that you're supposed to be before things get twisted and crazy and hard okay lastly helping your partner feel safe seen understood and loved so this is like i think i already summed up everything <laughs> for that one so since you already know since partners you get to know more each other you have secrets of its of your own you are vulnerable most of the time because you guys know your weakness and strength right so make sure make sure that whatever uh, it is that your partner interested to you that it is just between the two of you don't be a kiss and tell person okay make sure that your partner is being loved the right way being seen and of course safe safe guys huh be safe we don't want so much children already in this world okay just you know be safe <laughs> i'm just kidding not like that safety okay i mean yeah be safe thank you guys for listening and thank you for um always being there for me so it was lovely to be here with you guys so guys okay subscribe <laughs> to my channel i want you to feel safe with me as well so thank you guys for helping me make this world a better place for all of us and for the future generation see you again tomorrow bye bye Baby, I think we might be lost down love to bury my love so now change so can you try it's hopeless for us, so hopeless for us So love is for us No, you ain't even better for us No, you're just in it for the